Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When I build each audio cast, there's a topic that is across my ideology or across my idea making chart, across my brainstorming list by what happens to me in the world. Today, I went to purchase me two hamburgers, basically two bacon cheeseburgers that would have cost me a paltry $2. And when I say paltry, I just mean it's not a lot of money. And openly, I wanted a hot, piping bacon cheese hamburger. But the problem is, when I went to do it, the woman wouldn't take my money. Now, for someone who's in homeless and in struggle, that is a kindness. But in my experience, what it means is I'm going to give you shit food because you're a nuisance to me. You're monkeying my drive through and my attitude is then open the fucking front door and serve people in the restaurant. But the reality is I'm not in charge of that company. If I was in charge of that company, I'd be improving their training immensely and changing the target demographic they'd go and be going after of who they hire to handle our food. You see, you can't teach people who don't understand sanitation, sanitation. The laziness has already set in. You might take a manager off for great training, but they'll come back and do the same shit over and over again. You see, in order to change a person's mind, you have to change their soul. You have to change their heart on a matter. And most trainers don't know how to write for their own manager's souls. You see, a manager has a lot of stresses. A manager may make a good living, but a manager is dealing with the day-to-day aspects of your restaurant. And your restaurant is dealing with the day-to-day aspects of shitbag little employees that don't understand sanitation, don't care about processes, don't care about cleanliness, don't care about the customers, and don't care about handling money because they're all willing to say, it's okay, honey, I can take this. I'm just like, just tell me what the fucking change is so I can get my hands in my pockets and please be fucking patient enough so an old man can pull it out and give it to you.